Hello and welcome to another episode of Between the Studs. I'm your host, Mark. Today we have Randy and Garrett. Yay! And we're going to be doing a minifigure bracket because these are a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. And the theme, of course, as we're getting very close to Halloween, is going to be spooky minifigures. So the creepiest, Ooh. scariest figures, according to us, yeah. <laughs> matchups of two spooky figures. One moves on, one goes to the skull of never be seen again. <laughs> the graveyard. Yes. <laughs> Literally the graveyard. We'll be left with the spookiest figure of all, according to this panel of okay. minifigure experts. Yes, I like that it. is us. Got to be a lot of fun. I think, I, I know, Randy, you are all, this is your favorite season of the year. I right? am uh-huh. living every day. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Favorite month the of best. the year. Yeah. And then you know a thing or two, Garrett. I was born the day Garrett before Halloween. <laughs> okay, so yes. this is your time to I shine. I love Halloween. Me and Garrett are having our best month, right, Garrett? Boom. Absolutely. I know a few spooky <laughs> figures here and there. I, I, there's some things that will surprise you in this uh, video. It'll be good. So. But I'm going to hold up this pumpkin. And right. Randy, do you want to pull out two random <laughs> figures in two there? Figures. All right, we got, we got one. Oh, oh, the oh, Enderman oh, from Minecraft. Oh, right. right. And and oh, 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 wait, wait, oh, one oh, figure, one figure. Okay, there you go. Oh, <gasps> oh, and, oh the fly. Right. and the fly. CMF fly. Oh Ooh. wait, let me get him the right way here. We can set him oh, right on the table. Okay. Actually, Garrett, there's a white base plate right there. Would you grab it there? Yes. That'd be perfect. Okay. Set that right there and set him right there. All right, here we go. All right, Ender Dragon and the Fly. Enderman. Enderman, sorry. Enderman. Well, I mean, it, they're it's from the end. Enderman. One yeah. of the mobs from Minecraft versus yes. a okay. CMF based on a popular mm-hmm. classic movie. So. I, I would say that is based on the movie The Fly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great Definitely movie. getting those vibes. Does anyone have any instant? This one's gonna move on opinion because I mm. think okay oh. you, you know, okay <laughs> okay tell us what you think yeah. the fly Jeff Goldblum mm-hmm. I mean wings transparent wings the red eyes the claw, I mean, the claw. yeah I mean oh. very good figure yes so, so that one is it's your cool vote thing. right okay. Then what do you think, Gary? If you've ever seen the movie The Fly, mm-hmm. it is uh, one of the grossest <laughs> of the movies. Nasty. There's a lot of moisture. It's very wet. Um, but Special actually, effects are awesome. That is one of my favorite horror movies uh, in general. Mm-hmm. But if you've ever played Minecraft and you're starting out on the first night and then you run into an Enderman, mm-hmm. you know how scary that is. <laughs> and when the sound effects come in, they go, Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> they have some of the scariest noises. Um, it's based on Slenderman, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that whole scary thing. Um, but out of these two figs, I I think a fly monster may mm-hmm. have it. Yeah. Yep. Well, my vote is irrelevant, but I would lean just a tiny bit towards the end of it because I literally <laughs> jump scared <laughs> in my <laughs> computer chair when I first saw it. But the fly is such a good figure. I think it totally deserves to move yeah. on. So the the fly will sit over the here. The fly. Here we go. Winner. And the Enderman goes in the skull. Oh. I mean, if you have a bucket of water, you're in yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They do have a supreme weakness, and they can't touch water. Yeah. So that's, water? Uh, it's if very it's true. raining, they can't come out. Exactly. So. <laughs> the fly will get you no matter where you <laughs> yes. are. So that, that's good to know. We're, we're moving right. right along. What's your next figure here, Gary? Okay, let's Garrett. see. What you got? All right. Good let's go character. with this one. The zombie, zombie bride. bride. And... Oh. Possessed clown. It's Jimbo Limbo. Jimbo it's Limbo. Possessed Jimbo Limbo. Yes. So that's his name. Yes. Love it. Jimbo right. Limbo. Well, he's got. Look those how short claws. he is. He can go under the. <laughs> He'll get he you at your kneecaps. Limbo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Mm. Oh. I, I am really okay. split between this. Does anyone have any opinions on this right away? Out of the back, Garrett, you have any thoughts? I really like the. Uh, he, he's hidden sides, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I love the hidden sides figs. Um, mm. I mean, all the trans green is super cool. You look slimy. Mm-hmm. Um, but. Monster Fighters hold a special spot for me, but mm-hmm. also just in figs. I think me and you were talking about it earlier. Yeah. There's nothing scarier than a mad bride. <laughs> yeah. And yes. an undead mad bride. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's over. Yeah, her so, wedding has been ruined. Yes, She's out for yes. blood. I think I'm going to have to lean towards a zombie bridezilla. <laughs> That's a pretty valid opinion there. Um, anybody who's ever had, you know, been with, with a lady, I mean, when her eyebrow's up like that looking at you. It's over. You know. Exactly. She's got that evil smirk. Yes. However, I mean, clowns, I mean. They are terrifying. Terrifying. That's one thing that gets me. I'm not a big fan of clown things. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the bride. I just Mm -hmm. feel like I go, I love monster fighters. It's also. Yeah. 
Also, my all-time favorite, and I go, I just feel like Zombie Bride has it. <laughs> totally valid. I'm going to be the outlier again. I think I would have gone for uh-huh. the clowns. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty scared of clowns in yeah, general, that's so that's fair. a good one. But um, I generally avoid weddings as much as possible, so I don't <laughs> see that many bridezillas, but I can I can understand. So. They have their own show about it. They do. I mean, yeah. <laughs> there's a whole movie called The Corpse Bride. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, maybe yeah. a little inspiration there, too. Yeah, so the, the clown oh, uh, goes Jimbo to the Limbo. skull. Jimbo Limbo. Uh, yep. I love All his right. name. The there bride she goes. moves on. So. Don't put her too close to Flash. Some spooky yeah. figures in okay, the series. Okay, here, I'm going to yeah, for you, Mark. All right, Mark. Okay. Pull up some. Let's see, we got one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the first one. Ooh. Oh, Alien. look at that. Next okay. one. Oh, oh, the weeping oh. angel. This is a good one. Oh, okay. that's a good pair up. Okay. So, uh, Garrett, tell us about the alien commander a little bit. All right. Okay. So, uh, this is such a cool figure, in my opinion. I love uh, Mars Mission. Mm-hmm. I love the little, uh, the green, like normal green aliens. Yeah. Uh, this guy is like double the size of them almost massively upgraded oh, yeah. he's huge he's got it's a um a trans green cylinder for his eyes to light up it's kind of like bionicle how it mm-hmm. lights through but he is the alien commander i mean he's a pretty crazy looking fig in my opinion yeah he's got those big yeah. transparent green arms a lot of sharp I love the points chest on him plate of that. Mm-hmm. Really cool. and these guys are supposed to glow in the dark mm-hmm. uh the mars mission stuff doesn't doesn't really glow that well. Mm-hmm. Not terribly strong but glow, yeah. imagine him just like glowing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's pretty scary. And then mm-hmm. the Weeping Angel, I mean, if you've seen Doctor Who, they're pretty Terrifying. spooky. Pretty scary. There's not much you can do once they arrive. You just gotta run. So. Yeah. I recently learned about this, so yeah, yeah it's quite so. terrifying. It, it's two good figures. I think I definitely would go for the Weeping Angel just because mm-hmm. they gave me literal nightmares. <laughs> but the Alien Commander is a great figure, I, too. I think even if he had a mega particle beam cannon, <laughs> yeah. it, you know, it it's a stone statue. I mean, yeah. You're, you're yeah. Just, <laughs> even without the, the scary fangs and yeah. moving features, right. you're, there's really, it's going to be a hard fight. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I have to go with the Weeping Angel. Yep. What do you think, I'm ready? going with Weeping Angel. I mean, you just can't. Unanimous. It's yeah. yeah. At the end of Hocus Pocus, too, like, Winifred basically turns into one of these. I oh, think. my so, gosh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It also has such a crazy face. <laughs> yeah, brand. the face is oh amazing. The teeth is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They have, like, fang like teeth. Mm-hmm. First I'm going to go with Angel, too. Well, Alien Commander right. gets wiped out. Get him out. Into the abyss he goes. Mm-hmm. Into the skull of no more. <laughs> And All right. uh, Weeping Angel will be in another round upcoming yep. here. So who wants to go next? Is Randy's turn right. to pull yep. out a few? Okay. All right. Getting we got... <gasps> oh, this look at him. One. Oh, the oh that's a great ghost. one. And... Oh. Ooh, the scarecrow. Ooh, and a like scarecrow. It. Oh, like that's it. a rough one. So it's like, which setting is the most spooky to you guys? Right. You think the, the cornfields or you think like the mm. haunted house? Because right. uh, there's, you know, there's... Classic horror movies. You have different areas or tropes that you have. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm thinking the cornfield is a little scarier for me <laughs> here. I don't know. What are you guys feeling? I, you know, I'm not a, a big uh, ghost guy. You know, mm-hmm. ghosts aren't super scary to me. But uh, a scarecrow, being stranded in a corn maze or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and you just hear noises and <laughs> rustling of leaves. Yeah. yeah I mean... <laughs> I, I think I'm leaning towards Scarecrow. Mm-hmm. I, I love the Lego classic ghost. And they mm-hmm. you know, they glow in the dark like a specter and stuff. Yes. Yeah, they definitely glow but pretty nicely. But. I, I think I'm going to have to go with Scarecrow just because of setting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that f- that's more of yeah. a spooky element for you personally. That's mm-hmm. what's leading into it. And I, that's kind of what I'm leaning to, but I really want to hear Randy's thoughts first. What do you I, think I'm about I'm torn this with this one, but yeah. I, I, I have to go for Scarecrow. Mm-hmm. I Spooky factor, I feel like that. I think these are cute. It's actually yeah. got a cute vibe. That it doesn't true. give me a scary, like a scary spooky thing. I mm-hmm. think they're they're fun, and I think it's a great figure, and they're fun on so many different sets, but mm-hmm. I do love the ball and chain on it. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> I'm going with Spook factor, I gotta go with the scarecrow, and that face is <laughs> the red those eyes. red eyes and the mouth sewn shut. And yeah. The long straw hair. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think we're all in unanimous mm-hmm. agreement. I think that, that one's in a unanimous one. The yeah. scarecrow is spookier. The, yeah. the ghost is actually, unfortunately, you know, with Casper and other elements, the the ghost isn't right. quite as scary as it used to be. Yeah. It's a sheet. It's a little bit comedic. I was gonna so. say any any depiction of like a bed sheet ghost is <laughs> yeah. Cute. Charlie Brown vibes yeah. almost. Charlie yeah. Brown, Beetlejuice. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so the classic. The ghost oh, by gets ghost. put away, but uh, honestly, we had to include it. I we mean, had to, yeah. had to, had to. Yeah, absolutely. all right. Well, Garrett, right. would you like to pick all a couple? Right. Are you ready? What do we got? Um, what do we got? We're blazing through these. I, I, I like these. Thing. We're these uh, we don't have you know any negative Nancys. Uh, <laughs> Daniel. Um, <you> know. <laughs> exactly. All right. He had to stay out. Oh, what do we Ooh. got? Mayhem. Uh, the demon mayhem. Mm-hmm. And 
head. Ooh, Ooh. the uh, vampire bat from CMF. Two, two oh, winged look at creatures. that. Oh, this is a team up. They come yeah. from the skies. Right? Ooh. So this is actually from the uh, Ghostbusters, mm -hmm. the, the, the latest one, one yeah. the 2016 version. Mm -hmm. You didn't yeah. pick a Nexo Knights figure? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's still more to <laughs> yeah, yeah, you pull out of You don't know, man. <laughs> But then this is from the CMS is the Vampire mm -hmm. Bat. It's not yeah. based off of the DC Man Bat character, yeah. but it's very similar. It's yeah. got the same mold pieces. But uh, do you guys have any opinions on these two um, particular figures? I want to see his face. Mm -hmm. I, see, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. That yeah. demon's looking really spooky. Right? <laughs> mm. I I feel like spook factor. I'm going for mayhem, and I do mm -hmm. love the trans wings with the print on them. In the movie, not so scary, but I think the figure in the he's kind of cute and cuddly. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the, the vampire bat has a little bit of a. If you like like furry animals, uh -huh. that is yep. getting into that. I do love territory. the wings and the headpiece on this guy though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Garrett? What's your thoughts on this? You like in Mayhem too, perhaps? Mayhem is a really cool figure. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that we have skeleton arms and legs in red, and mm -hmm. this body in a transparent, like smoky black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Super cool, but I think I'm more towards uh, vampire bat, man bat. Mm -hmm. um, just mainly because bats, I, I like bats a lot. Yeah. But they are pretty creepy. They're pretty yeah. spooky. Especially yeah. vampire bats mm -hmm. that do feed on other animals. Yeah. It, it's a pretty spooky and um, the Batman Arkham Knight game, I remember playing that and there's a side quest with the man bat character mm -hmm. and it follows you throughout the game and at one point you're like scaling a building and then it just jumps out over the edge at you. <laughs> oh, and it's God. terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm going to have to go vampire bat. Based on, on your one. experience, it's vampire bat. Yep. Okay. And then, so you have a yep. little bit more connection to mayhem here than Randy. Mm, oh, no, I got to, I got to split the tie here. Uh... Mm. So I think that Mayhem is super cool because mm -hmm. it's got these blood red, you know, horns and arms and legs. It's it's one of the coolest and spookiest figures. However, for me personally, I remember watching a lot of animal documentaries and they yep. always covered <laughs> vampire the bats. Yep. And they were so scary. And so I I think a, a man-sized bat would be a little more spooky for me in general because mm -hmm. this is just outright terrifying. Yeah. This is kind of spooky. It's okay, like gotcha. an unknown vibe to it, but it's super close. So I got to go the uh, vampire bat. You always as well. hear about people like you know a bat swoop down and get caught in their hair or something. Mm -hmm. Imagine a six-foot tall <laughs> bat monster. <laughs> That they're both spooky, but I think the man bat. In my personal experience, I just I know more about them, and I I'm unfortunately am just aware of vampire yeah. bats. So yeah, Wait, I think that I have a funny bat story for you though. Let's hear it. As a kid, where mm -hmm. we grew up, mm -hmm. we had to go visit these caverns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so the school takes us there, and something happened, and an alarm went off on a walkie, uh -huh. and all of a sudden. Whoosh! Oh, the no. bats came flying out as us as kids, and I remember everybody dropping to the ground, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh man, that's a cool <laughs> I remember!" Like, just get down, get down, and I'm like, "Look at them all go!" <laughs> I didn't know I was supposed to be scared. Yeah, that's <laughs> funny. They, they, they're pretty good with echolocation. Yeah. I don't want to get hit. Though. Well, they weren't they weren't flying mm -hmm. like touching us, but they were close Whoosh. and above us. You could feel the the wind of them. But I just wow. remember going, "Look at them go!" I, <laughs> yeah. I, I remember being a, a little kid, and me and my uh, grandma, we would go. They had a, a pool, and we would go swim at like midnight for fun. When I was a little kid, like it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was supposed to be asleep, but we're going to go swim <laughs> in the pool. And I remember one night, we had bats swooping down, drinking out of the pool while yeah. we were in there, and it was terrifying. We were trying to get out, and the bats were swooping in front of us. <laughs> That's pretty And I was like a six-year-old kid, and no. I was like, ah! <laughs> I never got close to any bats of any particular size, mm -hmm. but I saw too many of them. On I, saw, I watched a lot of nature documentaries. We could yeah. take you to some caverns. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need a winner. sushi right? So winner is bats. And, and into the abyss. Mayhem goes back to the underworld. <laughs> yep. So, All right. right, Mark, your turn. i got to pick out a couple of right. figures. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm really not trying. Oh, oh frenzy. frenzy. Look at that. Space Police 3. Pam. And, oh. Oh, 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 two green ones. Oh. The ghosts of Gondor there. This oh, is a good one. Oh, mm -hmm. I got to take a look at these guys. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, these are great. Oh, man. These okay. are both really good figs. Yeah. So the classic ghost wasn't too spooky, but I think no. this medieval knight ghost mm -hmm. is a lot more spooky, especially if you've seen Lord of the Rings. I think we all have. Yeah. So. And then uh, Frenzy from Space Police 3, uh, the aliens were really amazing molds. Yeah, they were. Looked very un unusual and bizarre. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. I'm, oh. I'm a little split on this. I'm leaning towards the knight, but I want to hear what you guys are thinking. So. Gondor Night Ghost. Any the undead from the Lord of the Rings series? They're gr they have such good printing. Mm -hmm. They look crazy. I Sand love green color. I love the green on them. Mm -hmm. And in the movies, I mean, 
all of those ghosts look disgusting. They <laughs> are <laughs> gross and scary looking. They look pretty uh, uh, under the ground. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. then uh, Frenzy. I mean, Frenzy's about you know a good head taller than every other fig. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's got four arms, a crazy looking mouth. With some, I mean, he's got yeah. some serious teeth in there. Looks insectoid. Like. Yeah. yeah. And then those eyes have almost that uh like swirl, like psychotic look in the eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I think I think frenzy would be a, a hard uh, you know foe to uh, to yeah. face, and he would be terrifying at least to look up at. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but in spook factor, I mean, these guys were like a mix of like zombie and ghost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they're but, pretty bad. They're pretty scary. So. I'm really split on this one, honestly. Well, I, yeah. I'll, I'll make it a little easier for us. I okay. think I would go for the, the mm-hmm. Lord of the Rings night, just because I I saw frenzy as. Absolutely scary, yeah. but the space police were able to capture him on they more than one occasion. Oh, so he, I think he he, he had a he, he handcuffs were his weakness, you know. <laughs> yeah. But um, the, these ghosts, I mean, those orcs couldn't stand a chance. Yeah. So I think I'd be a little bit more spooked out by those in a dark alley. <laughs> okay. What do you think, Randy? I'm, I I these are great, <laughs> but mm-hmm. I'm gonna go spook factor. Mm-hmm. The ghost of Gondor, the print on his face is amazing, and mm-hmm. in the movie when they come off, they the, whoosh off the, the boat. when they whoosh yeah. off, yeah. And even when they're talking to Aragorn and everything. Oh, my mm-hmm. goodness. You had to be Ooh. pretty brave yeah. to go down in that cave. That yeah. was scary when he had to walk through the crack of the walls and to go... I'm all, I know I don't know all the terms. My husband would be so disappointed. <laughs> Joe is rolling somewhere. I'm sorry, Joe. <laughs> Joe somewhere, is, his eyes are rolling in the back of his I, head. But, I oh, think I'm, just, I'm, I'm... And they glow. Do they? They oh. have that glow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They have some misty <laughs> yeah. glow to them. Yeah. That's right. I was like, I thought fig glue in the dark. Yeah, so I'm going to go with that. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to stick with Frenzy. I'm thinking about being, you know, a space police and being on a foreign planet and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden this lumbering yeah. four-armed green alien comes up behind you. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty I, I think I'm going to go yeah. with Frenzy, but send him away. Outvoted. You know what Outvoted. else he reminds me of, though, is the movie The Quiet Place. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of the, did you ever yeah, see the this? Big did you watch this with us? I the saw the first one. Okay, the first yeah. one, yeah. Also it kind of like, gives me that vibe. I don't like his, like, gills or, yeah, like, uh, fat rolls. I feel like he'd be moist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. He'd be a slimy Sorry, buddy. There you go. Yep. So the first ghost victor, I think, mm-hmm. yes. we've had some undead and scarecrows. That is and one of the best ghosts. Yeah. Okay, definitely. I think there should be two left in here. Two left. Oh, no, then there's more than two. Oh, there okay. Goes. Randy, you get to go and search for All right. One. I got... Oh, look at Rain. that! <gasps> From Ninja Turtles. Okay, and, and we got... Oh! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! I'm scared! I'm scared to even show everybody! This is a bad one. Oh, oh. my gosh. Oh! Yeah. oh. oh. It's Marcel! We can't even, like... Not even shirtless just Marcel, Marcel. It's shirtless Marcel. I so, mean, honestly. <laughs> for those who don't know the context of the shirtless Marcel, we got to describe this. Oh. So there, we used to do a YouTube series called Heart Lake City Drama, yep. yes. and Marcel was the creepy old man around the block. He did not want to be hanging around Marcel. And we, we made a combination mm-hmm. of figure parts to make him shirtless for yeah. a giveaway for a joy of building <laughs> for a friend's episode. It was pretty hilarious. And this is a figure that we enjoy making yes. and, and selling mm-hmm. here at the store. He gets requested more so than we'd ever thought. So creepy old man not <laughs> yeah. wearing enough clothes versus a living brain thing. I don't know much about Krang. Do we have any story about him? Yeah, so uh, Krang is like, you know, the, the, all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff, it's all based on the ooze, the mutagenic mm-hmm. ooze. Yeah. Stuff gets in contact with it and it mutates. Yeah. Uh, from what I know, from what I remember about Krang is that he is like a, just a, he's an alien if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Um but he's literally just a brain with these tentacles, and he <laughs> has, like, a big robot suit that he rides, like, in the belly of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but this figure is just, on, like, in a figure perspective, like, this thing looks scary and gross. It it's really got so many is. wrinkles. It's got a face, yeah. Yeah, and its face is so, like... It's pretty gross. It's yeah. <laughs> There's definitely yeah. some some uh, icky, spooky vibes going yeah. on there. But yeah. w- which one are you more worried about in a dark alley, <laughs> You make yeah. a good point. Yeah. You make a good point. If the this lights is, went out, which closer, one are you worried about? This is closer than I thought it would be. I wouldn't want to encounter either of these yes. in an alleyway. I would be terrified if a brain like yeah, slithered up yeah. to me. Like it gets around your ankle? Oh, yeah. yeah. That would be awful, but I would also hate Marcel to come up behind me and be like, how are you doing, little boy? Yeah. He reaches around your shoulder. Oh, oh yeah. Right? Um, turn around, he's right here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's breathing down your neck. Yeah. I think for for real world pr- practicality, <laughs> Marcel scares me more. <laughs> I I would no. You, no, 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 okay. no. you don't want to walk around at night and run into a, Mar- a Marcel. No, no, no. 
<laughs> well, Randy, what yep. do you feel about the situation? Oh, Marcel. Marcel, oh, instant, <laughs> instant, not even a hesitation. Okay. I don't know if anything else. Could, yeah, just don't. Oh. No, no oh. friends set should have come with, with an old man. Yeah, it, I mean, he does not fit into any storyline of any of these. They throw and him he, in there, yeah. His expression on his face is just not okay. Mm-hmm. He's got that nice mm-hmm. little yeah. bald ring yeah. around his head. <laughs> He's yeah. got his cul-de-sac. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-oh. So this is really close for me. It's like yeah. 2% more evil brain, just because yeah. I remember, it's like old comics or uh-huh. stuff. You'd have brains going after mm-hmm. stuff. But Marcel, man, I can see why he's moving on. It's very scary yeah. to think about, but I think... Uh, I think when you going. put him in the context yeah, of, the, of the sets he comes in, <laughs> it's right? not good. Yeah. No. Alrighty. Here we go. Oh, so we only have... Is there only two left? There's oh, no, no, there left. is just the... Okay. So we have... Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, man. Oh, oh. I didn't even realize we had them in here. The Mouth of Sauron. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's go. it for the live bin, right? Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, 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 that's a matchup. Oh, Dementors Ooh. versus Mouth of Sauron. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a matchup. Wow. Heavy hitters. Mm. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Well, okay. Let me set the stage for you. Okay. Yeah. So you're you're all excited. You've made it to Hogwarts. Yeah. You're on yeah. the train, <laughs> yeah. and then yep. suddenly a big ghost appears in nowhere, and you can't move. You're paralyzed. And it's sucking all the joy and life out of you. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nightmarish material. It is. Also, you're about to face this huge orc <laughs> army, and you go up, and this is what you got to talk to. to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He has no eyes. He just mm-hmm. has a, he has a yeah. oozing mouth full no of lips, razor sharp teeth. So yeah, the teeth and the tongue. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Way too uh, moist going yeah. on there. So uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Why are the spooky ones always this moist? Is, this <laughs> is a good final <laughs> yes, round. This, this is a good one. Flip a coin for me. What are you guys oh. feeling on this one? Anybody so, any thoughts? Yeah. Uh, I'll start. Um, I have not seen Harry Potter. Okay. Uh, I know what the Dementors are. I've seen what they do. You know about them. Um, yeah. It's. That's terrifying. Mm-hmm. It, it's literally like the, uh, the the trope of like sucking your soul out. Yeah. Like <laughs> literally, yeah. That right. is terrifying. And then if you've seen the extended edition of uh, Return of the King, yes. the mouth of Sauron is. Oh. I mean, that's a character that makes your skin crawl. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he comes out and he's just that. You're right. That salivating mouth. The teeth are like the cl- teeth are clicking. Are more, yeah. oh. I mean, it's they're these are both terrifying figures. Um. I, I think I'm going to have to go with the mouth of Sauron mm-hmm. on the sp- creepy, spooky factor. Yeah. Just because, I mean... The nasty, the right? The nastiness, <laughs> the... Um, you know, he wasn't around for very long, but mm-hmm. just his presence was so creepy mm-hmm. and so set the setting of the Black Gate. Yeah. Um, the Dementors are scary, but, I mean... They black can, they smoke can be creature, repelled with a yeah. Patronus spell, yeah. They're, I, they're scary, but I, I think... I mean the ooze. The, yeah, yeah, the mouth yeah. of Sauron makes my skin crawl. Right. Okay, so ready f- before we vote, right, yes. I am on Team Dementor on this one. Okay. Oh, no! okay. Because the mouth of yes. Sauron was a kind of a one off yes. sort of character. You don't see him all the time. He's not even included in the yeah. standard theatrical release of the right. movie. The Dementors are everywhere. Yes. They're they all yeah. over you can, many people got dementored. You know <laughs> <laughs> So I think the Dementor is more likely to be seen, therefore it's more scary yep. for me. But mm-hmm. uh, I'm really curious to see what Randy has to say on the tiebreak. Yeah. Okay, this one's a hard one. Yes. I go with the Dementor. I love the the figure. Like with mm-hmm. the, That's a great with, piece. Yeah, the piece coming up I think is great. And I go in. I am not a Harry Potter fan. Mm-hmm. I have not. I've, I've watched a little bit of the first. Well, I've watched the first one, part of the second one. Yeah. Kids read all the books and everything. Family loves it. Mm-hmm. Went to Hollywood Studios in uh, California. And mm-hmm. those things were scary yeah. on the ride. The props, and then yeah. they got the. Yeah, I'm all. Those things were terrifying on the ride. And scared the heck out of me. Now, Lord of the Rings, <laughs> this guy, I go, it has a lot to say about him that he wasn't in the original release in mm-hmm. the theatrical They release. cut him out because right, he's too scared. Because he's so scared. And he gets a figure and we all talk about him and know what he is because he's that, mm-hmm. like, creepy and terrifying. Iconic. Yeah, yeah iconic. So... I'm gonna give it to him. Yep, Malthusaron. I, I feel like yep. Malthusaron wow. is gonna is gonna win for that. I think it's and valid. Like he's oh. <laughs> again the moisture of the teeth. A whole yeah. new level of spooky <laughs> yeah. there. Right? There yeah. we go. Dementor, All right, Dementor, you fought a good hitter. fight. Yeah. Heavy hitter. So the skull is filling up. We're okay. gonna refill the pumpkin with our next batch of figures These here. Are good. <laughs> this is a pretty intense right. competition. Yeah. There's a few more rounds to go, and then we'll figure out which is the spookiest here. The spookiest. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Who wants to go first? Is it Randy's Who turn went? again? Or I think it's your turn. My turn? Oh, yep. yep. He pulled the last one. All right. All right. You get the first Let's round this time. Oh, 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 sorry. I'm always just not Those looking. Those long arms. Oh, there's the Ghost of Gondor. For All right. One figure. Okay. And we've got... I've got one here. Oh! 
Zombie bride. Oh, okay. zombie bride. Oh, look, I feel like they could love each other in a certain world. <laughs> you know, they could fix each other. In right? an alternate reality. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, ooh, so we and have ghosts versus, versus undead. Yeah. Oh, mm. zombie versus the undead. Mm-hmm. This is close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <sighs> so, mm, is the zombie bride more scary? They're both kind of zombified. Yeah, they are, right? So yeah. They are. Hmm. They both have a layer, layer of like decomposition. <laughs> yeah. <on>. Right, yeah. <laughs> they both probably don't smell good. Yes. I got to tell you, I got to go with Gondor. Got to go with Ghost of Gondor. I think he just has a way bigger spook mm-hmm. factor by the whole character in, yes. in, in the thing. I go, I, so. I, I would want to meet him less. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably right. more dangerous. They had yeah. swords and stuff. They were mm-hmm. out to get people. So, mm, what mm-hmm. do you think, Garrett? Well, let's see. What's scarier? A soldier who has been bound to the living realm for hundreds and hundreds of years, unable to move on? Or a bride who has been left on the wedding day? Yeah. Um, <laughs> dead on the altar. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I think I am going to have to agree with, with Randy and go mm-hmm. with the Gondor mm-hmm. ghost. That it is, just from you know the scenes of the, of the movie, th- those things, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't, I couldn't have walked in there like, like no, <laughs> you'd be quaking at the knees seeing those yeah. guys charge over the boat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I gotta go with you guys too, but of the slightest margins. Uh-huh. Zombie Bride She's is very great. scary. She, yeah. She's super great. Yeah. yeah, Ghost of Gondor survives this round. Moving on to the finals, I think. Rightfully so. so. There you go. Yeah. Zombie Bride. And it's okay. worth mentioning. Zombie Bride is one of the. I think it's the most expensive minifigure we have in this whole selection. Probably. Yep. So interesting. I think Mouth yeah. Siren's pretty close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. But um, so that's the okay. first one. So Randy's turn to pick a couple figures. Okay. There's not a ton in there, but we'll see. All right. Oh, got one. speaking oh. of the mouth of Zara, there he is. Yeah, let's see here. And oh, 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 oh. and the fly. Oh, the two grossest them? figures oh, of, of the. So the, much moisture. I was like, both of these figures are wet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can imagine so the, much drool. They'd be, they'd be good friends. Hey, yeah. Just slobbering all over. Yeah. Oh. Need a tarp. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Very spooky and figures. He needs a napkin. <laughs> mm, yeah, they don't oh, know. Oh man. Okay, oh. here's okay. here's an argument for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Um, both of these figures are known for being. We've dis- described how gross yes. and, and moist they would be, yeah. and it's just a horrible, spooky feeling. However, I think the fly is full body moist. Yes. yes. And yeah, I think is. he's a little more gross factor. However, uh, mm-hmm. he's a little scarier, maybe more menacing. The, but yes. the fly is full body hairy and. Moist. Yeah, all the little oozing and flecking. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> so I'm going for the fly, but this I can okay. see this going either way. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Take some time and think about it. Boot if you need factor. To. I'm giving it to. Oh, the mouth of Sauron moves on. on. Okay. Well, what, him, what so tiebreaker, buddy. Well, <laughs> <Yeah>. well, well. <laughs> That's hard. Is this is a hard one? Uh-huh. Um. Man. <laughs> I think I would have to go with, as much as I love Jeff Goldblum and (laughs) the Cronenberg movie, The Fly, I I think just from pure creepiness factor, this is like just a gross, like, ugh. Yeah, yeah. Scariness, Spooky. like yeah, I, spookiness. Of, mouth yeah. of Sauron. I have to give it to the mouth of Sauron. Very yeah. menacing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The way the way he talked in the. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it was yeah. terrifying. It was awful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I'm well, gonna have to go with that. Yeah. Mouth of Sauron moves to the next round. The fly eliminated. Another close. Right. Round. Yeah. Have you seen the fly, Mark? I've seen parts of it. I haven't oh, seen it all the way through. The okay. Okay. I know that. exactly yep. what we're talking oh, yep. about. Yeah. Okay. Put that on the list. All right. So is it my turn? Your turn. Some figures. You're up. You ready? I'm gonna look at the bin while I think about it. Sorry. Yeah. One. Oh, Scarecrow. oh, Scarecrow. There we go. A great okay. figure. And there's some over here. Oh, a classic matchup here. We have oh, Batman villains. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah, Batman, Batman villains. villains. Right, oh, my goodness. <gasps> so we have the CMF Vampire Bats mm-hmm. versus the... Is this the actual DC Scarecrow? Yes. One of the, yeah, mm-hmm. one of the versions of it. Mm-hmm. So two classic spooks, Vampire Bats and Cornfields. Yeah. Oh, my little spooky heart is torn right now. <laughs> this is a... a oh, oh, man. It's going to get worse as we move I know. further on. Two oh. classic Halloween tropes. Right? Mm. Look at his eyes. I don't want to face either of these in I an know, open right? field. Oh. Yeah. The vampire bat's gonna swoop down and get you. The scarecrow's gonna appear out of nowhere with a corn what cob. Does he have? Oh, look at that! Oh, I, like patches and I just sewing. realized he's got yeah. The back of his head opens like up too. I don't think the vampire bat the vampire has a bat? different print. That mm-hmm. would help. I don't know why I feel like detail. that's gonna help me make a decision, no, but yeah. He's one face print. Oh. So. I'm gonna go ahead and say I think I am still sticking with the vampire bat. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, Personal experience. If too. this was the uh, scarecrow figure with the glow in the dark head, mm-hmm. I would go with him. Yeah, gotcha. but based on figure, 
we're gonna go. I'm gonna go with the vampire bat still. It's a pretty classic black, yeah. um, cool looking figure. So, mm. okay. So as far as which one scares me the most, yep. I think I've got to go f- scarecrow because. Mm-hmm. That kind of environment that the scarecrow sure. will yeah. scare you is more scary and more mm-hmm. prevalent than vampire bats. If you yeah. think about vampire bats, maybe they're scarier, but I, I've never even you yeah. see a bat flying every now and then if you're out, you in the, rarely out at night, yeah. but you don't actually physically come in contact. With yes, it. if you're walking out in anywhere and there's a, a, a field of a, you, you get a little bit <laughs> yeah. leery out there. It's scary. So I think I'm doing up. scarecrow. Yeah. I'm giving you another tiebreaker yeah. to do, Randy. What do you think? So. All right, I. Uh, I'm going with Scarecrow. I think it's mm-hmm. just way spookier mm-hmm. and creepier, and and I think he's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> the, the vampire bat has the a little vampire cute bat look is gonna, to yeah, him. Yeah, well, I love You'd his look. You'd have a plushie of him. I yeah. would. I think I do. But yeah, <laughs> I just got one of a bat. There you <laughs> yeah. go. That's awesome. Mellon. But yeah, um, I I'm going with Spooky Factor. The lips sewn shut. Mm-hmm. The, the eyebrows are all oh. the sewn look yes. to him. Yeah. And well, I see a scarecrow, I'm gonna be freaked out by it. it well, they, they're they're made to be scary. Bats mm-hmm. aren't always mm-hmm. scary. They're yeah. usually, but yeah, it's not scary. Well, yeah. Every horror movie, you know, something scary happens like out in a field. What do you hear? A crow. Yes, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, so. that, that noise, the scarecrow. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. I am scared to death of birds. So. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. yeah the birds are a scary movie. <laughs> a couple more figures right, in oh, here. Who's turning? Go. Like Garrett. What we got? What we got? Garrett's 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 got. Marcel is in there somewhere. Oh, be catching Marcel. That's Marcel. Speak of the devil. There he is. All right, we got a Marcel <laughs> versus. Where does he go? Oh, there's only one in here. One left. That's it. The oh. weeping angel. Oh. oh man. Oh, he two, can't be that close to her. Uh, two no. unstoppable forces. There's like here. an eight peg. Like or, he, no, Marcel's no. always trying to get as close as he can yeah. to uh, others. We always, have, we always have to keep him. He has to. He's in a certain spot in the case. Oh my yeah. god. So <laughs> this one we have um, is this oh. is honestly more yeah. of a is Marcel scared of a weeping angel or is a weeping angel scared of Marcel? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Which one would scare the other? I know, we right? don't know. Oh, oh man. I want her to use her powers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would have loved for her to take care of Marcel. Right. Mm. I got you. I, I'm going with the weepy angel. Yep. I, okay. I, I just I, I think that's a hard one to with her spook factor As and everything and creepy statues are creepy. Yeah, and yeah. she's she's got the evilness to her. Yeah. He's got the creep value, but she's got the little bit of the Marcel might the give you a little tickle, but yeah. the, the weeping angel is gonna bite your head off. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, you know, I the weeping angel is terrifying but Mm -hmm. we have to remember i mean (laughs) as far as we know you know as far as we know marcel is a mortal man (laughs) yeah (laughs) so until we really see a face off with them yeah yeah but i think creepiness factor weeping angel is one of the scariest things you can encounter Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i I think i'm agreed with you guys with the weeping angel because uh, seeing doctor who having an experience even if you haven't seen the show, that is a scary statue. Mm-hmm. If you see that in a, in a creepy rose garden, you're going to be really uh-huh. waking yeah. out. It, almost as much as Marcel. Yeah. So I, I think Marcel is knocked into the oh. oblivion this time. Yeah, let's put him away. Yeah, let's, let's <laughs> quickly hide yeah. Marcel. Move yeah, on to the next r- few rounds. If right. I encountered both in a graveyard, I would yeah. be more scared <laughs> of the weekend. Yeah. There you go. That That's, says a lot when you beat Marcel. Yeah. That's a pretty, yeah. pretty scary graveyard yeah. to be in either way. <laughs> So the last three right. figures here, Randy, okay. go ahead and pull out two for us here. All right. We got, oh, Weeping Angel. Weeping All Angel right. again. And we have, oh. Ghost of Gondor. Ghost of Gondor. Mm. Mm. Oh. Okay, so we got oh a ghost zombie versus a yeah. stone statue that comes to life if you're not watching. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, my man. gosh. Oh. Okay, I'll start. Okay. Maybe okay. this will make it easy for you guys. Okay. I don't know. I think the Weeping Angel's a little bit more personal for mm-hmm. me. Because yeah. the army aspect of that, I think, actually doesn't help the ghost in yeah. this case. Mm-hmm. It's a little more fantasy, far away vibe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Weeping Angel, you're walking through a city, you see a stone statue, and yeah. it looks a little scary. <laughs> you could be reminded of the Weeping Angels coming to get you. So I think Weeping Angel, for me, just from oh, personal yeah. experience. Oh. But what do you guys think? All right, I'm 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 feeling the weeping angel mm-hmm. on this one, which is I'm all oh, he's so spooky, but mm-hmm. I go she she definitely gives the creeper yeah like coming for you vibes. She's got and that really that fierce one's gonna face. stick with me more. I'm not so much worried about him coming, but yeah, if when I'm walking through In my person. my favorite yeah. cemeteries, exactly. <laughs> you see a statue, you've yeah. seen that You've now. seen these, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You see him out in the wild. Yep. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's pretty unanimous. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. weeping angel on that one. As there scary as the the ghost star, yeah. But, 
Yeah, well, Weeping Angel is a whole other level of spooky. He gave a valiant effort. Uh, yep. Making it this far is quite an yep, accomplishment right? for any minifigure. A lot of mm -hmm. good scary figures right. on the skull. Part of what makes it so scary is the aspect of being followed. Yes. Yes. I mean, right? is just constantly. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. The last two, I think. Oh, I'm yeah. yeah. Just grab them yep. out. All right. Here we go. The Mouth of oh. Sauron. Okay. And, and Scarecrow. <laughs> Okay, so you have gross yeah. and menacing yep. versus menacing and environmental mm -hmm. factors. Yeah. So, oh. <sighs> okay. And I mean, also yep. Batman, mm -hmm. Scarecrow. I mean, fear toxins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, any of those DC type things. This yeah. is a superhero yeah. figure. Yeah. 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 He'll make you hallucinate your worst fears. Exactly. Yes. Well, I mean, honestly, Scarecrow's up there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also about the Sauron. So yeah. it's like, ooh, man. I'm going with. Sorry, Scarecrow? I'm just jumping no, in no, here. No, I'm hey. going with Scarecrow. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it could be personal. a thing here, yeah, in my world. Yeah. And and I just feel like it's much more creepy, scary yeah. compared to the, when you put these two figures next to each other because they are two different worlds. It's more personal yeah, for you. I'm you've all, you've seen with, a spooky Scarecrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've never seen a spooky mouth sorry, yeah. in person. It's just right. a movie, right? Yes. So, yeah. There's a little bit of separation there. Yep. What do you think, Garrett? I think I'm gonna have to go with the mouth of Sauron. Okay. okay. Yeah. The Scarecrow, it's scary. Mm -hmm. I, it is. I, you know, I like the character of Scarecrow, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that mouth yeah. is just <laughs> awful. It, it's it bad. is disgusting. Mm -hmm. It is gross. I imagine his breath. Yeah. That's scary <laughs> enough. You can probably smell him from uh, yards yeah. away. Yeah. So. Oh. Yep. Oh, oh tiebreaker. No, no, I don't tie like breaker. these. I don't like these. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So I have, I think I have an answer. Um, okay. The reason being is because not too long ago we went to Netherworld, which uh -huh. is a big haunted house experience, mm -hmm. and they had actual people dressed up as scarecrows walking yep. up, they and did. those th guys were terrifying. They didn't go for me because I'm, uh -huh. I'm a guy, I don't look like I'm that easily scared, but they were freaking out, some of my friends, and I think for personal experience, it's got to be the scarecrow. However, Mouth of Zara is such yep. a top tier spooky figure. Right. All right. But uh, Scarecrow moves on for me, so this is, yep. I like it. All right. Mm. All right, well, okay. we're down to our final matchup here. We oh, don't okay. even need to pull them out. We don't need to pull them out. Oh, my goodness. So. <gasps> Scarecrow versus oh. Weeping Angel. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so uh, okay. set the stage. You have, you're, you're in a dark mm -hmm. field that's mm -hmm. bordered by a cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a pathway between the two. You're walking down there. On oh. one side, you hear the, the corn leaves rustling, yeah, right. and, and the sun is setting, and, and, the, bird. and the crows start <laughs> cawing, and mm -hmm. then on the other side, you hear the movement of stone on stone as you yeah. look over oh. to see the weeping angel. Yeah. Which one is going to scare you the which most? Which side are you going to run to to get away from the other? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> which, yeah, which side of the fence are you jumping on? Yeah. Ooh. Oh. This is a hard one. Yeah. Oh, sheesh. Oh. I, for me, it's honestly flip a coin. I, right? I... I, I, I I would hate to be in either one of these scenarios. <laughs> yeah. In either one of these scenarios, I think I would just lay down on the ground. <laughs> you just die. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to have a heart attack off. right there. <laughs> just flop over. I'm yeah. going to play dead and take my chances. Mm. <laughs> yep. Oh. All right. I got mine. You got yours? I got mine. Wait, help us out okay. here. Wait, yeah. wait, which one's? I I am going with Scarecrow. Scarecrow. Okay. I just Spookiest figure. I just feel like the red eyes, the mouth sewn up. Mm -hmm. The creepy patches on the October legs. October vibes. Hair, October vibes. Mm -hmm. Halloween. Children of the corn. Spooky children yeah. of the corn. <laughs> corn. Corn. Not Malachi, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Candy corn, yeah. Candy corn, all the evilness that comes with corn. It's the more of the season. In, in yeah, I feel like he's coming for me more. Not that I want to be around her at all. No. But mm -hmm. I feel like spooky, scary factor, scarecrow coming for me, scares me more than... I hear you. Than... Uh, <sighs> mm. Yeah. Does that make it any easier angel. for you, Garrett, or no? Are you still 50-50 like me? <laughs> Man, this is a yeah. hard one. Because I have I have watched Doctor Who. I, I've seen the Weeping mm -hmm. Angels in action. Yeah. They're terrifying. Mm -hmm. Scarecrows are also scary. And I mean, especially the Batman villain. Mm -hmm. Not only is he a, a scarecrow just to start with, but... He has the fear toxins that can make you see your worst fears mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. It can make you look at those and that they're coming exactly. along. Yeah, yeah, that's the reason. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm honestly going to have to go with the Weeping Angel mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. because th this is one of the, I mean, this is the scariest thing in Doctor Who and one yeah. of the scariest things in like science fiction, really. Mm -hmm. Like they're, these, you don't want to come in contact with a, mm -hmm. with, with a Weeping Angel. Once you do, like it's... Yeah. You're going to have a hard time. Yeah. It is. So I'm going right. to have to pass it on to, to Mark right, for the tiebreaker. 
<laughs> Always me. Okay. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. So both of these figures deserve massive accolades yes. for making it this far. These are two of the spookiest figures we had in the store, which is uh -huh. saying something. Yeah. Um, so I think my rationale is if I was facing these two, which would be the most spooky for me? Mm -hmm. and, and I'm in the cornfield. I see the scarecrow. Yep. And it's really spooky. But it's unless he was using fear toxins, I'd yeah. see him... He's made of fabric and straw, and he's got those red eyes. You don't know what's underneath. He's maybe got, like, a scythe or blade. That is true. But I feel like I could kind of <laughs> maybe fight for a little bit before I get yeah. gobbled up. Okay. You, you okay. might be able to at least punch a scarecrow. Yeah, I get, I get one, good, one, one good right hook yeah. in before I was gobbled up by the crows and corn. I have a movie for you to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I feel like I would at least stand mm -hmm. a chance. Yeah. However, the, the Weeping Angels, yeah. I turn around and that thing's closer. Mm -hmm. And then what am I going to do? Karate chop a stone statue? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so I, I, there's nothing you can do. They, they're going to get you. Like there's, yeah. they, they basically have to evacuate the planet once mm -hmm. they find them on there. So I think in the end it's going to be the Weeping Angel. However, the it angel. is the, of the closest margins. Yeah. It's like a point five. This could have gone either that way. Is a great, yeah. that's, oh. If I had woke up on the other side of the bed this morning, I may yeah. have gone yeah. Yeah. Precisely. I mean, uh, two of my oh. spookiest figures here. Uh, great job. I love her. These are great. This is perfect. This is she awesome. deserves it. If, if this was the Scarecrow with the glow-in-the-dark head, I would have to give it to it, I think. Yeah. Uh, there you just go. because thinking about a Scarecrow is, you know, in the cornfield is scary, but mm -hmm. imagine its head just... Mm -hmm. Radiating like an eerie light. Then it would yep. push it over the top. Then it's it, yeah. like, okay, this is otherworldly. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. She's very excited. Look at her. Exactly. So <laughs> the spookiest like, yeah. figure figure of this panel from this selection is going to be the Weeping Angel. The Weeping but Angel. So she many wins. great spooky figures. Thank you for helping me pick out all these <laughs> oh, yeah. great minifigures. They're all available Yay. on Atlanta Brick Co. Yep. ATL right. com. So check them out. There's a couple of them. Maybe listed below in the products. But uh, yeah, thanks, guys. And we'll be back next time with more awesome LEGO content, probably minifigure based. So yeah. don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you then. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>